Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and here in front of me I have a selection of Thompson submachine guns. Now, uh, over the last week or two we have looked at all of these Thompsons on the table, and we've looked at their history and how this gun developed from its origins through to its final massive use in World War II. And one question that that leaves is, how do these different versions shoot? Because one of the primary changes that was made throughout the Thompson's development was changing its rate of fire. So the original 1921 had a very high rate of fire, 800, maybe a little more than 800 rounds per minute. The 1921-28 guns, or the, the 28s and the overstamps, uh, those were specifically uh, changed to bring the rate of fire down. And they have a rate more like 6, maybe 650. And then, the World War II guns, the M1s, that rate of fire actually went back up, and then they moderated it a bit on the M1A1. So, unfortunately, I don't have an M1 here, but I have a 21, a 2128 overstamp, and an M1A1. Uh, we are going to go ahead and do some shooting with all of these and just see what that rate of fire looks like differently. So, we'll go ahead and start with our 21. This ought to be the fastest gun of the bunch, and I should, re I should point out here, when we're shooting this, uh, we're out here at the range today, we have done high speed footage, but I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. So I will have in the, in the bottom of the screen there, the actual rate of fire, but at the time that I'm shooting this, I haven't calculated it. So I won't be able to go with specifics, just feel of the gun. So the fast one, the chopper. It's got a pretty darn fast rate of fire but it's pretty controllable. It is over 11, 12 pounds with a loaded magazine, so one would hope that it's controllable. This actually, I think the Suomi is probably a little bit better for shooting than this guy, but this isn't bad. And that's an empty magazine in that one. All right, next up, we have a US Navy property 2128 overstamp. This should be like 25% slower. It is. You know what, I think it's actually a little harder to shoot than that 21. Well, now I'm out of ammo, but you know, the, a lower rate of fire doesn't strictly correspond to a gun being more controllable. There's, there are factors in the harmonics of the gun and how that recoil impulse is being transmitted to the shooter. Between these two, I think the 21 is the better shooting gun. But we have one more left to test here. This is an M1A1, and this is, well, the, these two guys were the iconic gangster Thompsons. This is the iconic World War II GI Thompson. Horizontal foregrip, smooth barrel. Uh, we now have an ejection port charging handle, well, charging handle on the side. This should be kind of in between those two. Hmm. You know what, I think that's the hardest of the bunch. And it also feels like it's a bit slower I suspect part of this issue is that this guy doesn't have a cuts compensator on it. And judging from the, the handling of this and the 2128 overstamp, that cuts compensator actually does, that, that, that does something real. There's a thing there. Um, this one certainly looks cool to me. I think it's the best handling of them. I like the horizontal foregrip. The vertical front grip to me is a little bit awkward. Um, and all of these have a very long length of pull. These are, the Thompson is a heavy gun. It's iconic, but it really is a World War I pattern of machine gun. So it's got a long length of pull. It's got a lot of stock drop. So the gun does like to climb if you're not used to shooting submachine guns. And for whatever reason, this one is actually blowing more gas back in my face than either of the other two. Let me try this one again. bad. And got something like 10 rounds left in this mag on the 21. Boy, you know what? 
I didn't think I would say this, but I got to go with the 21 on this. It's got the worst sights, but it's the, the best, the nicest shooting. I'll be right back. It's my chopper, you see? It's my Chicago typewriter. I need my money, you see? Well, it's actually not mine. This is actually being sold, as are the other two that you just saw, at the uh, Morphe Auction House in their upcoming Fall of 2018 firearms auction. Uh, this one and the 2128 Overstamp are both fully transferable. The M1A1 is a uh, dealer sample. If you take a look at the description text below, you can find links to catalog pages for all three of those by way of ForgottenWeapons.com. That'll have their, the Morphe catalog uh, pictures, price description, uh, everything you need to know about, uh, well, maybe picking one up yourself, because these are pretty cool.